in this tutorial I'm going to be going over how we can create this awesome effect right here so as you see when I hold space the UVs are animating and what we're actually doing here is we have a material that we're using as a mask to animate the UVs um, now this is a very very basic case of what you can do if you think about it you can do a lot more stuff and opens up a lot of opportunities so this is very basic but you can see here is I'm using the flipper animation type and what as you can see I can let go or hold it and it's going to change direction which is really neat um, now you could use this for a lot more you can use it for even you know switching colors or lots of different stuff I'm just talking about basic stuff and we can use it as the property value here so we can change exactly where the the UVs are depending on a property over here which is absolutely amazing so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do this right now and a problem you're gonna encounter and how you can overcome that so let's get straight into it and let's learn we're gonna go ahead and jump right into this so we're gonna go over here to the material panel in the properties window we need two materials we need the main material and then we need a mask material which is going to be the one which controls all of our stuff in the node so we can go ahead and make the new material and we're going to call this mask now you could have any other name if you like but mask should work fine for now um, so what we want to go ahead and do is we just want this to be a pure, just the main uh, diffused color. So we want to turn this to a mission so we don't get any shading or anything because we don't want that. We just want to use this mask so we just want to have the pure color. Um, so what we want to go ahead and do is animate this value from black to white. Then we're going to use that in the node editor to change the position of the object. Um, UV sorry uh, so we're gonna go ahead and open this up and just switch it to a timeline uh, now alternatively you could just come over here and do it in here as well but I'm just gonna do it in the logic editor with this little window so what we want to do is we're gonna go ahead and change this to black and hit I hovering over this value so what you'll see now is it has assigned the value there so we're going to go to frame 100 and we want to switch this value to something like white. Now we want to hit I now when it's pure white and this is our mask. Um, now what this has done also, also is it's created an action and what it's done is it's called it the same name as the material so it will be mask action will be the name of it. All right. So if we go ahead and change this to the node editor um, we want to go ahead and get this material and use we want to make it use nodes so we're going to go ahead and click use nodes uh, so now we've done that we'll have these nodes so we can go ahead and use this material one and just switch it to mask so we can go ahead and do that uh, make sure in Blender Game Engine, of course, because this is not going to work if you're in cycles or anything like that. So we want to go ahead and change this to mask. So this is going to be our mask material. So you want to be in GLSS mode, GLSL mode. So we want to change it to textured and GLSL over here. And um, because nodes do not work in uh, multi-textured mode because it is multi-textured. So now that that's done, what you see is if we press play, nothing is going to work um it sometimes does work and it sometimes doesn't so there is ways to get around that so if we go ahead and we press uh add an animation player and we add a keyboard so if we, we play an action with this keyboard so we can go ahead and say spacebar we want to play the mask action as you can see it has named it here mask as the name we called it in the thing and then action on the end so i want this to be frame 100 for our frame count because that's what we said it to before uh so now you see it's not working so why is it not working uh blend has a bit of an updating problem right now with uh material animations and the node editor uh, so if you see if we switch it to the other one you can see it's working fine 
It just doesn't work with a node. So there is a way to get around this. And the way you can do this is you can go ahead and what you see here is it's working now and it's a little dodgy. It sometimes works and it sometimes doesn't. So I'm going to show you now how you can get over that and just quickly do it easily. So the way we can fix this problem is we just need it to be loaded in. So we need it to be on another object or on this object or something. So what we're going to go ahead and do is just assign this mask to the bottom face of this object. And what this is going to do is it's going to fix this problem we are having. Because it's going to be loading that and it's going to be playing on the bottom of it, which we're not going to see. Alternatively, you could have like a face inside of the mesh or something. And it's just going to play the animation on that and then it's going to update the main node thing. So as you can see, it's updating it. Uh, the bottom face is using the the bottom material and the other faces are using the other one, which the bottom one is updating all the other ones. So now it works. So now we can actually get into it and use it for something useful. In this case, I want to use it to move uh, UVs. So when we click a key or when a property is a certain value, we can have the animation playing or be at a certain point. So the way we can go ahead and do this is we can go ahead and add a geometry. So we're going to be editing the UVs. Now this is very easy to do. So if you don't know how to do it, it's pretty easy. So we're just going to go reset the UVs so we actually have some UVs to do with. So now if we go ahead and change this to the UV image editor, you can see we have UVs already laid out for each face. It's just all everywhere. So it's mapped out nicely. Now we can go ahead and create a new material. And we're going to go ahead and call this UV. And we also want it to be color grid as the generation type. So this is going to give us a little grid that we can easily see instead of just a solid color. So let's go ahead and give this a name. And then we can say OK because it's all ready to go. So if we click OK. What you see now is we have our UV grid with all the H1 and all that stuff just to show where it is on the grid. So now we can go ahead and add a texture and then we can plug that in. So we're using a texture node here and we need to go ahead and make a texture. So come over to the texture section and go and select the image. So this is going to be the UV one we created. Uh, now you see we're assigning it to the material which we do not want. So the way we can do that is just remove it from here and go ahead and select down from the texture slot there. So now if we go ahead and plug this in here, what you'll see is we have our material mapped and the bottom one has different texture and that's why, uh, sorry, different material and that's why it's different. So we want to go ahead and switch the UVs up with this. So the way we can do that is we want to go converter uh, split RGB. So we're going to go ahead and add one of those. And then we want to go ahead and add a combined RGB as well. So if we go ahead and come down to combine RGB, now we can combine them together. So the UVs use an RG and B value, all of them to kind of show different directions. So the way we can do this is we can edit one of these, add to it, and it's going to make the UV move. So the way we can do this is we can add a color mix RGB, and we want to go ahead and plug this color of this object into the top slot and the other one into the bottom slot. As you can see, it's sort of working, but not really. So if we change this to max, as you can see, it's not working anymore. So that what we need to do is just change this to add and it's going to add to their color now. So what you'll see now is it's playing the animation. So we also want to be on frame one. So we don't get that jumping thing when it starts. Look at that. And uh, the, the UVs are animating and we can control that with logic bricks. So one thing that you'll notice is it was a little bit starts off slow and then gets fast. So the way you can fix this is come over to the F curve here in the animation section and just change this to vector. Just hover over it, just select them all with A and then just V and select vector. So now you can see it is working. It is great. So we could change this to a loop and we could also change this to an all ways. So now what you'll see is we have this working and it works really great. Um, it plays the animation we want. I'm sure you'll come up with uh, really cool ideas for this. There's plenty of plenty of things you could do. Um, 
as you can see the, the side one's looping quite well I don't know what's up with the top one uh, but it is working and I'm sure with a little bit more tweaking you could come up with way better results than me and also even different things I mean you can use this to control the alpha which you could do before but I mean you could do way more advanced stuff than just um, that you could use like a property to change the alpha you can do I guess you could do that before but you can do a lot more stuff because you can now use it with material nodes so you just need to use that little trick of a second material on the uh, that's running so on the bottom I showed you you put that on and that's going to update it so that's all you really need and once you have that way of updating it it should work fine so there we go all done and it works great so if you like tutorials like this and you want to see more tutorials on this subject different subjects all kinds of subjects to do with the blender game engine go ahead and subscribe because I come out with a new tutorial every single week on the blender game engine um, have a great week, keep blending, and um, if you make anything cool, send me a link or something, because I'd love to see what people come up with, and have a great week, keep blending, and make something cool. See you next week.